What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here with another Your Anthem Dev Tracker update. However, before we begin, if you are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe for more Anthem content. Also, I recently signed on with the incredible people over at BSN and the Anthem community. I've mentioned in previous videos that I have never been part of a community for a game that has been so supportive and absolutely a time and a half to be a part of. And these guys are no exception. Please be sure to check them out. Their links will be in the description below. Also, as I've been editing this video, we just hit 200 subscribers. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I can't thank all of you enough for subscribing, for being regular commenters, for watching my videos. I, I really cannot express how grateful I am to you all. But now then, on to the video. These are the top 20 tweets of the week and they aren't in any special order. I'm just going in the order in which the tweet was tweeted. This week, all the tweets are coming from the king of AMAs for the Anthem community, Mr. Mark Dara. Yamito tweets if some pieces of armor will be unique, aka seasonal event based like Christmas, Halloween, etc, etc, on an aesthetic level. Mark replied that it was possible. In addition, there was another tweet where Mark confirmed that seasonal events will be an anthem, but it didn't make it on this list. This next tweet comes from the incredible guys over at BSN, asking about the difficulty settings in the E3 2018 full demo we saw a few weeks ago. The demo did seem a little easy to a number of people in the comment sections on said full demo video, to which Mark replied that the demo was balanced to be pretty easy behind the scenes. Mark has also since said that we were witnessing some fairly high-level javelin gameplay, with the exception of the storm. Ryan Ralph asks if you can grind enemies found around the world for endgame loot, or if it would be activity exclusive similar to raids in Destiny. Mark's reply says it all. That cat in the hat asks if there will be trading in the game. Mark replied that there wouldn't be trading with others in Anthem. This next one definitely puts a smile on my face. Kermit Smith tweets if the Colossus's shield could be used in a more straightforward offensive way, such as shield bashing or running through enemies. Mark replied that the Colossus would be able to do this. And by the way, best of luck to you and your son, Kermit. Shadowblades tweets if there will be set items in the loot pool which grant set bonuses, or is it not feasible with the current gear system? Mark replied that there would be set gear bonuses and anthem. <sighs> I'll break out my rake and hoe. It'll be time to get to farming soon enough. Arodin tweets about an article on EA.com in regards to javelins having their own skill trees, to which Mark replied that javelins do not have skill trees. Only freelancers will. Zero Sensei tweets to Mark if he was to play as a Storm, excellent javelin choice, and level it up a lot, does that XP also go towards other javelins? AKA his level 20 Storm would equate to a level 20 Ranger. Mark states that you will be leveling up your freelancer in the game, not your suits. As far as the gear drops go, they will scale to your current freelancer level. Timothy asks about skill trees in regards to javelins. Now, while Mark answered that only freelancers have skill trees a few moments ago, this tweet makes the list due to Mark clearing up that while javelins don't have skill trees, they are more gear driven. Essentially, their gear is their skill tree. This next one breaks my heart a bit. A fan asks Mark if there will be dual wielding weapons in Anthem. You break my heart, Mark. You break my heart. Another fan tweets if the guns that your javelin can use and the guns that you can pick up are based on what javelin you are using. For example, if certain weapon types only drop for the storm, are those the only weapon types you will get if you have the storm equipped? Mark's reply once again says it all. This next tweet comes from Scott, and it is kind of similar to the one before. He asks if some javelins can't pick up guns from their inventory to use with other javelins. AKA, can your ranger use the same pistol in your inventory that your interceptor can, Mark replied, you will get some variety in shared weapons. Now, I feel for you, Mark Dara. I really do. 70% of your tweets are things that you've already answered, and this tweet echoes that. Benjamin tweets to Mark how many times has he had to answer the question about additions. 247 times is an understatement. Ryan Lee asks if you, going back to your strider mid-mission to switch out weapons or gear, will subsequently cancel or abort the mission you are currently in. Mark replied that at this time he thinks that it will. Another fan asks Mark about PC specs and if there has been an update on the optimal components. Mark replied that there hasn't been. 
As many of you know, whenever there is a cosmetic tweet, I have to put it on the list. Cameron asks if there will be different styles of paint for the javelins, aka gloss, matte, carbon fiber, etc, etc. Mark replied that he thinks there will be, which is very exciting to hear. Hugo asks if there will be anything that happens to players if they get too far away from one another. Mark replied that it depends on the situation, but in free play there will be no boundaries. Another fan follows up on that tweet and asks Mark to elaborate on no boundaries. Mark replied that he was referring to no party tethering. Our last tweet of the week comes from my friend Edema360, who asks if there is any chance for the third person view to be possible in places like Fort Tarsus or the Strider. Mark replied that it is very unlikely due to the spaces being so tight, which makes sense. Remember how crowded the marketplace at Fort Tarsus was in the E3 2017 gameplay trailer? Anyways guys, this is the end of the video. Did you see any tweets that caught your eye? Any questions we should be sending off to Mark and the rest of the dev team? Let me know in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, and subscribe for more Anthem content. Anyways freelancers, that's it from me for now. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next one, and I hope you have a phenomenal day guys. Peace out everyone.